Welcome to some point in the 26th century where humans have evolved and are now just plain dumb. The world is run by those who have the intelligence to do so, androids and robots. But humanity does have a ray of hope in the form of the adequately non-moronic UH what? But before he can save the world, he must first survive his sentence, death by game show. Death by Game Show is the Twitch action strategy game by those guys over at Uinta. It's the first game made by the studio, but the team has a lot of experience and it shows. Not only do they have a lot of past experience and development, but they also have a lot of love for pop culture and some of the most idiotic types of stories and films. In fact, the developers have stated that Death by Game Show is an homage to idiocracy, and it has become one big love letter to the Mike Judge himself. Death by Game Show puts you in control of UH1, the unfortunate smartest man in the world overrun by AI. As a result of his acceptable intelligence, he is sentenced to death but has one last shot at freedom through a game show. You have 50 levels you must complete with increasing challenges that require strategy and focus. You will unlock more droids to assist you throughout the campaign as well as some buildings to give you an advantage in each challenge. Now, what makes Death by Game Show both a Twitch action and strategy game? The combo is very exciting because the game plays like a fast-paced, reactive, resource management frenzy. The levels themselves are often time-based, and you have limited resources that you need to manage in order to accomplish your goals. Sometimes it's all about destroying as much as possible before the timer is up. Other times it's facing waves of enemies where you must select the right defender in order to survive. At the end of the day, you need to make split-second decisions with an awareness of goals and your resources in order to be successful. And that is why the team has dubbed the game a Twitch strategy. The game doesn't end at just 50 levels. In fact, players can build their own challenges through the use of an editor system. The team really wanted players to be able to customize their games and experience. The same challenge editor they used to create the game is what you will have access to so you can create your own personal game show hell. You can edit the spawns, the signs, the rewards, and even the in-game sprites. Have some fun throwing your favorite characters to replace the ones in games, or get creative and design your own robot army. The best part is that you can share your creations and challenges through Steam. And if you're lucky, you might win some sweet cash simply by catching the developer's eyes. That's right, every month the best shared content will win 100 bucks in cold hard Steam cash. But if you aren't artistic, no worries. A separate reward will go to the most creative video or screenshot shared each month. So yeah, just contributing to the community could earn you 100 bucks every single month. And maybe, if your content is really loved, it could potentially become an official staple of the game. The team over at Unita has quite the sense of humor, and Death by Game Show really does feel like you're stepping into idiocracy. The game is set to drop this Friday on Steam, so make sure to check it out if you're looking for a fun, fast-paced, humorous Twitch strategy title. And if you want to learn more about the game or the developers, feel free to follow the link in the description below. If you like this video and want to see more game previews, make sure to click that subscribe button. You can also let us know any previews you'd like to see over on Twitter at Glitchfeed. And make sure to check back on our daily news videos and our weekly games podcast. We will see you next time on another Glitch Pitch.